Are you serious, B-dubs? <laughs> Why would you do this? <laughs> Hold on. I, I, this is the easiest way to get up here. I don't have ender pearls. And yeah, I'm, but you won't be welcomed if you come here when you do that. Oh, this is not welcome? Okay, 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 okay. Take those wigs off. Right? Okay, I take them off. They're off. There. Problem solved! Give it! Yep. No! No! <laughs> yes! There was presents in there! Oh, I'm rich. There's presents for you. Oh my goodness. How have you done these things? Um, so I didn't. Um, I think Whoa, Tango, man. Tango did this. Oh yeah, that looks like a Tango thing. Yeah. Do you see the armor? Horse armor? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of horse armor. That's a lot of rockets. That's and a, a lot, lot of rockets. Uh, yeah. And wings too. Yeah. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. It's like, yes, B dubs, the horse guy, he's he's gonna join us. Well, yeah, but but hold on, hold on, hold on. I th this is I haven't entered quite yet. I can fly around like can I I can have a little bit of like flying around fun time before I enter. Oh, you're you're just getting your jollies before Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's okay. Uh I heard you have a fast horse. I got like three fast horses. Three fast horses? <laughs> uh huh. So, like day one, I scouted the whole island for the horses. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, that's smart. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Don't even try you, it. You weren't bro. even thinking. You weren't even thinking about it. I got the timing perfect there. Oh, come on. Oh, you I'm a master. <laughs> All right. Um, but I have a fast horse as well. Okay. Uh, it's it's pretty fast. I mean, it's faster than Tango and Corrales's. Um mm -hmm. I wanted to to test it against. Where are your horses? Up here somewhere? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah? Uh -huh. Wait. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Whoop. What? Okay. Okay. You know what? You <laughs> You hit it. What? <laughs> you were shifting out of out of fear, weren't you? Yes, I shifted and I think I hit this corner right here too. Here, let's um, get in the boat, B-dubs. Okay, I'm in. Ooh. This now is how we little, get around, huh? It's a little dangerous around here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So what has happened here is I've lit up most of the caves, and now yeah. we're just... It's, it's death around here. This is the worst. It's bad. You want some wings to fly out of here real quick? <laughs> no. No? You sure? Okay. Okay. This is probably my best horse. Okay. Ha! I do have one that's faster though you do yeah that this one's a good my, jumper this is my and... all-arounder okay yeah. let's see the jump oh, oh my that, goodness that was a baby jump for baby real jump. oh my goodness oh man i'm so bad at jumping with these guys can it go four blocks that's four can it can it do that oh yeah it can do four no uh, no, no way not even trying b-dubs <laughs> that wasn't all the way I'm gonna have trouble getting my horse over there. Yeah, you are. I think I gotta go around. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll see you. I'll meet you at the gas station. All right, so we're with Etho today. And we are going to. I gotta save this boat for him. We're going to, hopefully, I wanna talk him into setting up like a nice horse breeding uh, thing and a fun like horse breeding or a horse, horse and <laughs> horse competition. Uh, where we compete like there's like an obstacle course or something like that. Uh, but I also, I, I think Lulu's pretty fast. So I want to see if Lulu was faster than his horse. But who knows? <laughs> who knows where he is? Aha! Uh, Etho! Turn around, <laughs> Etho! Etho, there you are. Oh, oh, there you are. I thought you got lost. I got worried. No, no, I was looking for you. Where Ooh. did you come from? Over here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I used your path to get here. Oh, nice. Man, yes, it's, it's perfect. Man, yes. you are styling. Green mm, horse like and that? everything. Cool. That was pretty good. That yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, I would love to do a speed test, but... Okay. Um, 
Okay, but where, 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 you know what? There's a little bit of a straightaway over here. There's uh, the plains here, yeah. Are we going on the path or are we going straight ahead? Path. And we'll just path. see, you know, there's no race okay. to a certain point. We'll just see who's yeah, yeah. fastest. Yeah, yeah. This is for science. It's not for I'm better than you, right? Right, right. Of course, of course I <laughs> Even am. Even though we know the obvious answer. Yes, there, uh, right? yep, I am. And, and three, two, one, go. Giddy up. <laughs> you, you turned left? Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, I'm faster. <laughs> no, I stopped for a second because you did some wacky turn there. Look, I can turn all the way around. Look at you. See how far behind you oh, are. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. You might be a little faster. Yeah, you're catching up. Oh, all I see is your big giant eyes. No. <laughs> yeah, here I come. Oh, but, yeah. I'm faster. But if we have something we got to jump over. Yeah, then then you win that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hey, you're about to get lapped. <laughs> you got past me first. Come on. Where are you? Oh, oh no. Yeah. Okay, okay. You got a speedy guy there then. Yeah. Etho, you know the technical. You know the technical side. Of, I have uh, tried breeding. Doing some breeding before. Yes. It's a very unfortunate system in the game. I wish they would change it a little bit, but. It's not good. It is what it is. It's easy to breed for one stat, like if you just want speed or if you just want jumping. You can get a pretty good horse bred from nothing, even. Mm. But if you want two stats, if you want speed and jumping, yes, you're in for trouble. Really? Yeah. And if you want three stats, you're playing the wrong game. <laughs> what are the all the health stat too? Yeah, if you oh, care about health, right. that's like the last one people worry about, though. Yeah, that's true. Um. Okay, well, honestly, I think this could work out. This could be a good thing, because I have an idea. Um, oh, yeah? Yes. It's actually... Is it over there? No, I think... Let's go on the paths this way. Because it is actually... It's a little bit of a journey to go from one end of the island to the other, I've noticed. It, Yeah, it is. But with speed, too, and with an actual good horse, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> oh, you throwing shade... <laughs> <laughs> like crazy. I, you you I, know what the big problem is? Every time I hit an intersection on this road, it's like, man, I wish B-Dubs put some signs down so I knew which way so, to go. I, I waste like a minute every time figuring out which way I need to go. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And and trust me, Etho, whenever I do something, I think, okay, how's Etho going to criticize it? And uh -huh. As I should. thought about that. I did. And I yeah. thought, ah, Etho, people are going to get lost. Etho going to get oh, lost. Ooh, oh, which way Jevin? are we going here? Okay, that's Jevin's road to his this, base. This is an easy one. I'm yeah, sure it's a bad that's example. easy. Yes. But yeah, there are some tough ones. I think, so here's my thought on that. Mm -hmm. So like this intersection. Right here. This is a bad one. <laughs> I have no one. idea where this goes on the right. left. This is a bad one. Uh, that goes to like Jem and the swamp and like all the way to spawn. Okay. Yes, and then this goes towards uh, me and the Bodum people. So here's another. Let me show you another. Let me show you another bad intersection. Um, okay. Oh, so you know they're bad. You know they're bad. That's, yes, I know they're bad. I knew. I knew. But I have a solution. Everybody should make their own signs. Oh, okay. If you want to be found, make make it possible to be found. Right. So okay. this is this is where you might be uh you might kind of have a little bit of a benefit cuz there might be some jumping. But up over this way, over mm -hmm. this hill, and then through the swamp just slightly. Oh sorry, sorry. Slow way out down of range. a little bit. Oh <laughs> man. Show some consideration. <laughs> right? How did you get a faster horse than me? You you hey. must have went off island for that thing. Uh, I mean, you got to train them, you know. Oh, that would be you, nice, you, too. You went off island, didn't you? No, it was right over here. This is where really? I found. Right here. Okay, so it lo lo looks like Tango was doing some testing. Um, Because uh -huh. he's he, he had a pretty slow horse before, so he's wanting to find a fast one. But this area here, mm -hmm. this is a nice wide open plains. Oh, and yeah. I, I was thinking that... If you and I set up, first of all, horse breeding, horses for sale. Okay. Yes. Yes. People we, need horses. We people, can't be the only ones. Yes. And especially this goes very, very nicely with the No Wings Club, right? 
So, I mean, hello, business. You sell two horses. <gasps> you thinking of money? Yeah, I'm thinking of money. We sell, oh, we sell two horses. I, I thought it was like a community effort, you know? No. Helping the poor. <laughs> no, no, no. Yo, oh, People got to buy two wallets. horses. Okay, okay. I like that. Yeah, you want you want a horse to get around, you get a fast horse. You want a horse for jumping, you get a jump uh, buy a jump horse. But and a show horse, show horse, gold and armor, and a, a looks one. Yeah, a, a show mm -hmm. horse as well. Okay. Additionally, what if you and I use this space here to make like a a horse course, <laughs> horse course? Oh, you've been saving that. No, no, I just thought of it on the fly. Uh huh. Uh huh. A horse course. Okay, okay. A horse course. Yeah. Where? I like that. Yeah. Not just a circle, but like with with obstacles. Oh. So so like maybe if you have a fast jump or a good jumper, if you take this direction, it's good. It, you know, it'll be for good jumpers, and then right. if you take this direction, it'll be better for fast horses and stuff like that. Um, you think like a race course, like where people race? A race, but with obstacles. On top of that, pay to enter the the race, right? Oh man, you're just going right for the wallets. I like. I it. mean, okay. Etho, you you need money, you need yeah, diamonds. Yeah. Yes. All I wanted to do was just get the idea out there and see if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Very you're, interested. Very interested. Me too. I think we'll clean up. Yes. Uh, so I'll start working on a visual design. Uh, yeah, and if you can just lay out the general track, maybe like. That. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Or are you thinking mini game things like targets and stuff, or are you thinking? Yeah, like, like if you, if you hit a, a target, race? yeah, if you hit a target, it would open a thing. Um, you know, if you go around this corner, if you're fast enough, these arrows won't hit you. If you're too slow, they will hit you. Okay, okay. Or you might get hit with a slowness potion or something. Yeah, because, you know, there's like Forza racing and then there's Mario Kart racing. Right? Mar Which yeah, Mario Kart racing style. Mario Kart racing? Okay. Yes. Okay. Before you leave, I have one last gift for you. Okay. I'm a very generous friend. Here you Don't you throw go. those wings on me. Pick them up. <laughs> get out of here. Pick them up. Where's my flint and steel? <laughs> no, dude. No, dude. It resets my time if I wear those things. <laughs> you get them away from me. Okay, real present this time. Boom. Who? You can pick that <laughs> yes. up. Don't you don't yes, have to be yes, scared yes. of that. I like one. those. Those are good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I guess in the meantime, we'll just work on it. You know, this is a multiple. We don't have to knock this out right away. No, no, we got the whole season. Like we got that. a whole season to do this yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, but I'll head over. I'll cobblestone out some stuff. You can come check it out later and see if you like it. I think that was fantastic. That's going to work out real nice. Etho and I, we're going to make something real special over... Ouch! Real special over in that spot. That's going to be amazing. People wanting horses like crazy, and we're going to breed up some beauties. And I love the idea. The fact that the mechanics aren't you know, super nice where you have to like pick, Oh, is it going to be a jumper? Or is it going to be uh is it going to be a, a speed one? That's awesome. That's great for business. But anyway, uh, fantastic. Wonderful. I have other things that I'm going to do today. I'm going to try to make a llama farm cause I want to use llamas. I mean, Tango gave us this amazing Prezi of these wings and the horse armor and stuff. But most of all, <laughs> We got a shulker box. It's our first shulker box. I'm so happy about that. So that'll help. But transporting things, uh, Corrales is transporting materials to all the gas station shops. And it's been a little bit tough without a lot of shulker boxes. So I think llamas would be very helpful. You can have some beast llamas with like nine slots and then just a huge herd of them. And just take them all over the place. But anyway, we'll work on that a little later, I think. Uh, I've been moving, although it doesn't look like it, I've been moving things out of here. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I've been moving things out of here and up into the house. Uh, there's lots of storage in here, in the moon base. But 
Uh, it's still... I don't know. I'm just having to pick how am I gonna organize it. So here's some tree stuff, but then the overflow tree stuff goes here. You know, I think that's good. Stone stuff. Overflow stone stuff goes like somewhere who knows we'll figure that out but slowly moving things into the base this floor has tons of just random storage so this will be nice i'll just fill this place with a bunch of stuff but anyway oh baby what a wonderful day things are going fantastic um we got a wonderful horse thing set up with etho we really need to probably get that going asap and then we'll get some amazing fast speed horses and great jumper horses i want a really big that horse was jumping four blocks I want a horse like that. But anyway, still organizing materials. I'm going to keep going with that. And uh, then maybe we'll get on to some building. Okay, so here's the pen. This is kind of what it's going to look like. I just, I was thinking cobblestone wall uh, all the way around. And then the building will be like here. I want to build the land up a little bit and then put the building on top of it. Lower level will have some storage area for llama. And then upstairs, you know, you know how we do upstairs would be the house. <laughs> but that just helps it look a little nicer. So I'm thinking uh, the road, just so you know kind of where we're at. This is this is the road that leads on into the island. This comes out to our area. But I'll have a little branch off right here. And then it'll come this way. And I'm thinking of having a little bridge here. And continue the water stream from the ocean over to here. And then... All this will be one day big mountain and we'll put all our shops and stuff all over that. So I think this will be great. I'm excited. I think this will be awesome. But before I go any further, uh, I, I, I'm i making this pen. That was easy. The building part is going to be difficult. Why do that when you have no llamas? <laughs> So we might be able to go out to eat those and, and yoink those llamas. Or not yoink them, but breed them. But they're up on that mountain. It's a nightmare. So I'd like to find some easier to get llamas. Hopefully. Potentially. We will see. Easier to get llamas would be very nice. Some accessible wild ones out and around. All I need is two. I've got the hay bales to breed them if I see some. And I've got... I mean, all you really need is one lead. But I think I'm going to go north. This is uh, one of the gas stations. Oh, much better. Glowing. Much better. I bet Tango did that. Uh, Tango's also been doing some... Uh, setting these up to be actually functional, which is amazing. Oh, I'm excited about that. But we're going to head north on the north road. I got all these roads done last episode. And this is actually one of the cool roads... This road goes north to south all the way. So I dug through uh, the the little mountain right there. And then you go through here along this cliffside. It's a real nice scenic route. But what we'll want to keep an eye out. This is a mountain here. Uh, Vintage Beef's place is right on the other side of this mountain. And we might actually... Hello? See, this is why you do the paths. So you don't have to you know, worry about running into things. Jump! Bad jumper. This horse. Okay, but Beef's Place, look at that. Right there. Scary. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, Beef's Place right there, which is really cool. He's working on some insane stuff. The llamas. Hmm. Where could they be? Not up here. We'll keep looking. We'll keep on this road, but what a beautiful road it is. I'm really happy about the, the path that we have here. But anyway, I'll continue on. I'll see if I can find and muster up a couple of llamas for us. So we're out by the Bodum place. This is the, the, the northernmost part of the map with the Bodum crew. And there is some craziness going on. Is that an impulse flying in? There's Green's base. There, <laughs> it's just, it's like a circus. It's beautiful. Scar's big wagons. Uh, there's, there's Pearl's flying ship over there is a spider ship. Uh, there's like a, every block that's Impulse's eyesore place. It's, it's crazy. Uh, but this feel like llama country, doesn't it? It feels like llamas would be up in here. 
like the perfect spot for llamas. Obviously, we're a couple months in. To, or not a couple months. Aha! One llama! Two llama! Yes! Oh, perfect. Okay. So, this is wonderful and unclaimed as well. Okay. You come here. And then if I bring this one past, this should fall in line. Yes. And I'll leave that llama over there. And uh, you know what? Hmm. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. This is actually good for our business. Uh, because if we leave just one llama, we, we want to kind of create a demand for llamas around here. So if there's a little bit of a shortage, that can be a great thing. We want there to be a little bit of a shortage of llamas. Okay, hop back on Lulu. Hey, Lulu, slow, slow. There we go. Okay, now I want to see. This is a test. Let's F5 it and let's see. Can they keep up? Can they keep up without the lead breaking? Uh-huh. Lead looks like it broke, but it didn't. We're going at a pretty quick clip here. And the llamas are keeping up nice. Okay, this is wonderful. Look at how perfectly they, they follow. Llamas follow better than any other animals, so I love them. Who fly? Somebody fly? Yeah, that's somebody fly. That looks like maybe impulse again. Anyway, this is perfect. We got what we needed. Uh, two brown ones, though. Are they all going to be brown? I think they might all be brown, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We can put different color clothes on them and stuff. But anyway, back to the base with these winners. I lost them. Did I lose them? I lost them. <laughs> All right, already trouble. And mission success. Not bad. That worked out fantastic. So the amazing thing about these guys, look at this. Boom. That's all you need. I don't have to have like this perfect pen where they can't get out and stuff like that because they won't get out. They they will stay. As long as one of them's leaded, they'll stay together. One of their uh, characteristics in real life is they're a herd pack animal. So they're always going to want to try to be near each other. Now, let's see if the babies do that too. Looks like I accidentally fed the horse multiple times. But wait, hold on. Oh, do I need to tame them first? They weren't even tame. They're wild alpaca. Now we can always, if there's a wandering trader, we can always get some from them as well. But now we, now we, they love me and boom. And now, now make that. Here, wait. Yes, there you go. There you go. Make a baby llama the cutest. The cutest. Yes. Okay, move. move. Yo, look at the size of him. I love him. Oh, come on out, you sweetie. Look at this little adorable grossy. Okay, that's nice. So, we'll lead one up. And they should all stay. They should all stay right here and not leave. So, that's very nice. Now that we have them, we can also do another thing. Aha. There we go. And now, six slot. The, the llamas have different traits. Now, let's pop some chest on you. Nine slot. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. A nine slaughter. That's huge. That's what you want. They all have uh, different slot amounts. This one's a six slot. This one, a nine slot. That's what you want. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so happy about that. Okay. Wonderful news. You, because ideally, we want to be selling all nine slaughters. And then you can, of course, put carpet on them to have them look different and stuff like that. This is beautiful. This is wow. Being able to see that mountain off in the distance is really cool. Uh, this is great. Hopefully, this one gets the nine trait as well. And then we can you start uh, selective breeding and get the... Keep, hopefully, they all get nines. But now, I think it's time to start a building. Hello, Squawkers! Oh, okay, you know what? I think Squawkers, we're going to bring him with us for this next thing. The build is done. The llama rental place is done. And yes, I'm saying rental place because I just decided that. It's going to be a rental place. Let's grab some of this garbage. And hi, Squawkers! Can you fly with me? I got everything moved in. I don't know if I showed that or not, but everything that was all strewn about all over here, I got it all moved in. So everything's organized. You know, I need to actually kind of stock some of this stuff. But uh, yeah, fairly organized. Stone, cobblestone, 
Okay, I used all my cobblestone. That's one of the problems of having a silk touch pick is you never have any cobblestone. Squawkers, where are you? Aha, right here. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's go to the llama shop. So, we are right over this way. I want to help give you guys a little bit of an idea of, like, location and, and where things are, you know. So, our portal, Tango, Corrales. Corrales is Groot. <laughs> the sign has been changed by somebody. Uh, but there you can actually see it. The llama shop right there. Ooh, it's looking pretty. I love how it just sticks out above the trees. That's really nice. Big Mountain shall be here. Then the road that uh, leads to our area comes right in here. Hi, Dolphin as well. Okay. And Squawkers. Squawkers? Squawkers is not on me. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Anyway, here we are. This is where we're kind of hitching our horses up and then we we boat over to our place. But the road leading into our area goes up and around over there. This little road is going to go by the llama shop. Rent-a-pack. Llama rentals. Rent-a-pack? I think that's cool. So, so this might be a weird uh, business concept and idea design. But you know what? Let's try it. So <clears throat> we're going to do something. I want to do a test here. I did find, uh, I was with Scar, we were just messing around a little bit last night. Did find a light-colored llama, so we're going to have a little bit of variance. I don't know yet, actually. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here as far as how many slots are available on this one. All these all have the nine slots. Look at this, nine slots. Uh, so let's check you out. Nine as well! Oh my goodness, the luck job! Oh, that's fantastic! Okay, so, who are you all following? Are you following him or him? Let's go here. Oh, not interested, huh? Okay, I want to do a test. Goodness sakes. Okay, you're following as well. Interesting. There's, there's some mechanics going on here with the pack. So, this one's definitely following this one. That one does not want to leave, which is really good to know. Um... <laughs> But come here! Come in here! <laughs> come this way! Oh my goodness! This is very stubborn. Okay, come on! Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Okay, you come here. You come here. Stop it. Stop it! I want to see how far... I mean, they're obviously pathing very far. Come here! Follow this way. Up, up we go. Stop looking at them. Stop looking. I, I I want them to look at them, but I also okay. Break this wall. Break this wall. Break this wall. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, don't tell Etho. Don't tell Etho about this. Okay, it's hollow underneath, but it's okay. All right. Here we go. All right. And come on, stupid. Here we go. This is it. No, it broke again. So my here's. Look, I guess it's time to explain my idea. My wise, perfect idea. We're going to have the llamas up here. And, and yes, 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 yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. We're going to have them up here. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Okay. And then, no. All right. I'm going to leave. Oh. Did you become your own? Okay. They aren't looking there. Okay. You calm down. That's cool. Okay. So, I'm going to put... All right, that's good to know. I'm going to put you in here. I'm going to break this lead, all right? And then I'm going to break this. My test that I want to test is, if I open that, okay. Okay, interesting. Now, you come here. Come in this one now, all right? Okay, cool. So maybe because I attached him to a fence, he lost track of them? What I here's what I would love. I would love to have one llama out here on a fence. And then once somebody comes in and pays, all these gates open and all the llamas go to that one. Six llamas follow that one. I, I think maybe I don't know how long a caravan can be. This is my perfect science. I did this science job. You see it now clearly. One llama here. All the rest of the llamas in there. You pay, the gates open, all the llamas go out to this one, and you're ready. You're ready to go. 
It's perfect. It's perfect science. And imagine that I did that on camera, <laughs> even though, even though I have not. I, you know, it's just a little bit Wikipedia. Uh, let's take a look through this place. So this is what I built. I think it looks fantastic. We're going a little bit. I think we're going to feel out like Tuscan style out here. I think that's kind of the direction we'll probably end up going. Not 100%, but you know. Uh, these copper blocks, we want them to change to the oxidized, of course. Some copper blocks there. But I think it's looking pretty nice. Overall, little balcony overhanging there is nice. We raise it up on a hill. It's raining? What? We can't have that. Make it day and get rid of the rain, please. Thank you very much. So we go up inside. All the pens are here. And then we can go upstairs. And this is where we can work out deals if deals are necessary, you know. Little bedroom, of course. I always need a bedroom. Got to still light the candles. And then a uh, little place here. I like this spot. Isn't this cute? It's a cute little spot. I love it. And then a balcony, of course, to go out on. Not decorated yet. Aha! It's changing. Wonderful. We want these all to change out. Beautiful view. So this is the ocean. It's coming in through here. And then some of the ocean water, of course, coming in here. Because llamas can drink salt water, apparently. <laughs> I hope I hope I'm right on that. I did a little research on them, but uh, yeah, this is the place. Little little living area upstairs above the barn. How did you get over? Oh, right, because I because I broke a debt. Okay, there you go. You'll be in there. Wonderful. So, and I'd like to name tag all these guys. Rent a pack. So when they're out, when you're out and about, and people are you know moving stuff along with them, uh, then you know. It's it uh, you you get the idea that oh there's rent a pack it's free advertisement you know how people put advertisements on their vehicles company vehicles okay you come this way as well we're gonna do a little test because ah look at them follow yes wonderful okay look at how well they follow guys they're so good it's not like cows. you know how cows or other animals when you're trying to lead them with wheat or something like that no. These guys follow amazingly so well. So I can, I don't even have to look back. I can just go and I know they'll all be right there behind me. Look at them. Perfect following. Wonderful job. So uh, over here, it looks like Tango has set that up. Quick XP splash, one diamond. Ultra platinum, full XP service, two diamonds. And what is this now? Okay, Tango has done some stuff here, which is amazing. These are the, the gas stations that we set up last episode, and I think Corrales has been stocking them as well. This one, yes, they are getting stocked with mending and all that stuff. Beautiful, wonderful. Okay, uh, so we are stocking these. These are going to be so awesome. But I feel like for stocking, this would be nice. All these nine slot guys, whoops. That's going to mess them all up. Uh, all these nine slot guys. You fill these up with a bunch of stuff. You're going to be good, I think. Uh, but we also had a lot of conversation about road signs. Who's going to... How are we going to know who goes where? And Etho gets lost and stuff. I think I mentioned this to Etho. That uh, I want everybody just to kind of... At intersections and stuff. If you want to be found, you, you should make it easy for yourself to be found. So... If these intersections are just filled with tons of signs and, and, you know, player heads and banners and stuff like that, just a big mess, I think that'd be great. I think that would actually look kind of cool. Um, so, you know, this because when you, these, these things, it's hard to organize them. Like you could put a sign here on this one, but then if you break this one, it, it messes the whole thing up. So, yeah. I think if people put their own signs and direction things out, it would be the coolest aesthetically. Maybe a little chaotic and messy, but I think it would look the coolest. So everybody, uh, it's their own. Th it's their on their own ta task list to get the locations figured out. But I love these guys. Look at these beauties. Look at these beauty llamas following. What a wonderful, wonderful pack. Okay, so now let's take a little bit of time to work out some of the horsing ideas that we talked about with Etho.
So, so it, you know, you can say something, and it can be a little bit hard to understand. So let's try to demonstrate some of the idea. So this is the horse track on the plains, and we kind of want to lay it out here. Now, I think Tango's thing was temporary here, so we might end up removing this. Um, but I want to lay out a little bit of the path. So what I'm thinking is we kind of go, what does this say? Eight, nine, ten. Oh, maybe for his organization and stuff. So uh, I was thinking the path for the horse track. We don't want to do just a straight circle just around. We have mentioned that with Etho. We don't want to do just a circle because that leaves it pretty much up to who who has the fastest horse. And if, if you have the fastest horse, then you win. But we want to add some other elements in there. So maybe something to where a, fa a good jumping horse could potentially win. Or add some other like RNG type elements. So I'm thinking, you know, have it, have it go out around here. And then a tight hairpin turn here. And then... Maybe it goes under a little thing and one thing over. I'll lay that stuff out. But I'm also thinking, let's say we have, uh, let's hop off here. Let's say we have, we're coming this way. And there's a path that goes like this. Off on a little bit of a turn around here. Just follow me, okay? But here's where it could get interesting. You could go that way, or you could, if you're coming from this side over here, you could try to take a shortcut through here. Now, this shortcut would have some sort of peril to it. Now, maybe this shortcut is good for jumping horses. So a, 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 a horse that has like a good jump would have to jump over like a three tall thing. So let's let's actually lay this out here. So my horse, where's there's Lulu. My horse, I don't think it's very fast. So I could get around this very quickly, but and we'll have to like test these and time these out. But if I can't go this way, I can't go over that. If it was too tall, I could go over that. But so a, a good jumping horse could potentially get through here and get a little bit of a lead. You know what I mean? So stuff like that. And then uh, let's say there's like a tight turn. So I mentioned like a hair a hairpin turn is just a very tight turn. So if we were coming this way, right? And then real quick, we turn and we're going back this way. I can't place because all this grass. We're coming back this way real fast, right? So maybe on this turn, if you take... so. Those of you that know racing, if you take the inside of a turn, it's faster, right? So maybe on the inside, there's like some slow sand or something. But on the outside of the turn, you might actually end up being faster than taking the inside of the turn. Little things like that. So the way I'm seeing this track is, yes, it's a race. And kind of like we were saying with Etho, a little bit Mario Kart style to where there's going to be a lot of things. You might have the slowest horse and still win. A lot of things that can kind of are Ooh, careful, Lulu. A lot of things that can kind of RNG the whole situation and make it to where, hey, Lulu's the fastest horse, but she might lose if I, if I miss something. Or even a spot where, you know, to get through... Let's say this isn't a jump, but if you hit a target, if you hit a target, this door opens and you can go through a shortcut here. We'd have to work these out to where they're valuable, to where it's like worth, uh, you know, the time that it takes to kind of focus it and stuff like that. But I think that could be really cool. Potentially like some areas where you could go up and under. I think it'll look, at the end of the day, I want it to look really, really cool as well. Visually, I want it to look really nice. Uh, so that's kind of the plan. I want to kind of lay out a little bit. Did I bring a fence? I, of course I did. Of course I did. I want to lay out a little bit of the, what I was thinking for the directions of where it could go. 
and we'll see we'll see this will at least give etho something to see and then we can potentially start planning some stuff out all right i've timed it out i've got kind of all the paths this is a rough draft i've got i again i can't help myself more path blocks <laughs> uh gone through a couple more sh shovels it wouldn't of course and this is pretty good. I timed it out. Etho and I were talking about time. Right now, it's about 48 seconds on this fast horse. Uh, but you can kind of see I've got like some under areas. Every once in a while, the horse will kind of just stop, which is another kind of RNG thing. And I, I don't know what causes that. I think that's just random. But yeah, about 48 to 40 seconds. Uh, to get all around the track. So here's kind of, I'm just kind of running you through it a little bit. Some straightaways, like here's a straightaway. You don't want to make it all curvy. A little bit of straightaway action here and there. I don't know. I mean, this will obviously change. We're going to change this up quite a bit. It might get even more extreme. I was thinking then this is, so that's out to the ocean. This is into the continent. So the path, the road in here will probably come from over here. This is where we came in just a little bit earlier. So, yeah, right over there is the path. So I think the road will maybe come in here, I'm thinking. And then not only are we having this track, but we're going to have, like, horses for sale. So I think maybe a shop would be good right about here, maybe. A horse shop um, in this location, possibly, because... I would, you want it a, kind of close to the starting line. And I think this might be a good spot for a starting line. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, it's all subject to change. But as it is right now, I think it's pretty good. But yeah, this could obviously be bigger than this. But this could be kind of the area where the, the stable is for the horses to sell. I think. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be really cool. It's just going to take a lot of, you know, testing and tweaking. Like, Etho and I will probably have to both, like, one person goes one way, one person goes another way. They're controlled tests, you know, where we both have horses with certain control variables. Oh, Etho's going to love this nerd science stuff, isn't he? Uh, but one goes the shortcut, one goes the, the other way. I think it's cool, though. This is going to be fun to kind of test out and build out. And, of course, like, the theme. Working out the theme. I haven't even thought of that, but that's going to be really fun. Like, building it all out and stuff. I'm excited. We'll get some more elevations. Maybe some, you know, raise it up even higher right here where you go up a little bit of a mountain and stuff. I think it's going to be great. I'm very excited about it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's episode. We got a lot accomplished today. We got the, the horse system set up. Well, kind of. At least planned. Semi-planned. And then we got the llama shop all set up. I just need to do a little bit more research. It'll all be functioning and running next episode. Do a little more research on the llama behavior and what makes them follow and stuff like that. Some of you genii might already know, potentially. But either way, I love the build. I think it's great. And this will just be a fun thing. I mean, llamas are actually great. Oh, this is a terrible jump horse. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but, yeah, llamas are fantastic. They're very, very useful, especially for what we got going on. I mean, we might be using it more than anybody else on the server. But for bringing stuff out to the gas stations and stuff, I think it's going to be very useful. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I love you to death, and we'll see you in the next episode.